vibe from here permeates the entire house. You take your cues from here and off it goes. You've got yourself a big boy, big girl house. Especially for Chad. Why did you point at me for big girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Agnes and Chad have reached this housing gridlock. Recently, Agnes moved into Chad's rundown bachelor pad, which feels more like a frat house than her own home. The main issue is the outdated and dysfunctional kitchen, and Agnes is fed up. Chad knows a change is necessary for this couple. They just can't agree on what that change should be. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. How are you? Hey, how are you? Nice to hey. see you. Nice to see you. Robin, we hear you guys have a problem. Well, right now we're trying to decide whether we should stay and renovate or if we're going to relocate out to the country. How long have you been here? Uh, He's I've been, been here, here for, for about 15 months I've been right. here. I just moved in three months ago. She was my real estate agent. For this place. Had I known we'd become a couple, I would never have sold in this house. <laughs> so what don't you like about this house? It's a total man pad. Wait till you see the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Wow, it's mm. beautiful. <laughs> see, exactly. Isn't it? That's I just, don't you love the floor? The floor, is... the matching appliances. And look at the wonderful backsplash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going old school in here. I step in here and I, I want to cook. I don't want to be in this room. So why haven't you guys just renovated or moved? We haven't really decided yet. We're sort we of, uh, well, <laughs> you've decided. <laughs> so you decided. obviously want to move. I want to move. So you really want to stay? Yeah. The thing that works is both of us want the country property. Why didn't you just go to a house in yeah. the country to begin with? Cost, mostly. To get what I wanted out in the country, it was just too much for me myself. Now it's the two of you. It really doesn't make sense to move this early, I don't think. Right. After just moving in, all we need to do is fix it up so that Agnes likes it. Makes think sense of to the make. rolling hills and deer. Uh, that'll come. Let's gotcha. see more of the house. <laughs> all right. So right in here is the beautiful fireplace room. This is actually a really great size master bedroom. And there's a desk here, <laughs> but it's obviously that's Chad's. I don't understand. So he has a games room down the hall, but yet a big computer and another games room here. In mm -hmm. the bedroom. Well, yeah. You see my problem. And in the basement, more man cave sensibility. More hangout space. Yes. Yeah. This is actually a really beautiful bar. I'm curious, you're a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. So why are you using another real estate agent? Well, I don't want to get emotionally involved. Plus, I can team up on Chad with him. See, that's really what I was hoping for. Or it can be a mediator. <laughs> I think there's lots to talk about, guys. While Robin is working on his design plans, I get the first shot at convincing Agnes and Chad that real estate is the way to go. And this is all conservation area, so it will never be built upon. This house has been renovated. It has a modern kitchen, lots of potential man space, and it's on an acre of land. So come on in. Ooh. I know you said that kitchens were huge on your wish yes, list. Definitely. Granite, stainless steel, mahogany cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. Love it. See, this is what a kitchen should look like, Chad. It's a very good start. Someone really likes this house, I think. I do. Bedroom number one. I was thinking maybe an office. Yeah, she should put a desk yeah. in the corner in front of the window, so it'd be nice. So this is the master. It's a nice, decent size. I do have a basement I want to show you. This would be your man space. I don't really like that the basement's not finished. What's the price on the house? It has recently undergone a pretty dramatic price reduction. Your budget is $450,000 for a property. This one is currently listed at $449,900. Does that tempt you at all? It's definitely starting to sway me a little. Yay. But I think I'd like to see what Robin's got for us back at the house. I think this kitchen is going to be the one that works for you guys. You wanted magazine quality, this is magazine cover quality. Your floors, all the way from front to back, is a beautiful hardwood. This entire wall where the fridge is now is completely ill-used space. So what we've done is we've flipped the peninsula over to this side. So we've maximized this wall for storage, and we're going to go all the way up to the ceiling. Right? Awesome. So you've got massive storage everywhere. I like the fact that all the appliances match. All of your finishes are the highest end. So we've got beautiful white marble backsplash. Engineered quartz countertop all the way through, so it keeps it light and feminine and fresh, still easy to clean, totally durable. New seating area here, and two at bar height for you guys. You're able to keep that all under 35 grand. It's not a huge kitchen, so that's kept the cost down. I hate to admit it, but it, it is. Oh, no, I know you love it. it I, nice. I listened to you, and I gave you everything that you wanted, and then some. I would still love to see this kitchen in a country <laughs> In a different home? <laughs>